A group of carol singers from North Somerset are marking their centenary this year. The Pill Owls were formed at the end of the First World War to raise money for soldiers blinded by mustard gas. And they still support those who have lost their sight today. Well, they perform throughout December and uh, Sally Chowner is with them now. Sally. If you weren't feeling Christmassy before, you must be now. You look and sound absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. We'll hear a little bit more from them later on, don't worry. As you say, they started in 1919, and in the last 50 years alone, they've raised £300,000 for good causes. They've been singing for 100 years, not this lot individually, I hasten to add, but Pat Derrick here has been a member for 51 years. What's so special about this group? Well... Uh, I think they're such a fine boat of fellows. They come from all walks of life, the high and the low, but they all meld in so beautifully. And music is a great uh, mixer in any case. So um, we have a great time. Do you know when we were singing perhaps five or six hours a night, when we get out to the minibus to drive between calls, you think they'd just sit down and have a quiet night, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, no, they start to sing straight away. <laughs> Music hall songs, war songs, you know, like that. They're uh, no, a great bunch. Yeah, well, you sound lovely. Of course, they're not just on the small screen, but they've had a film made about them. Matt Jones, you've made that film. What was that about? Well, uh, the, the film was really following the story. I think when one gets to hear about the story, it's, uh, it, it's full of intrigue, it's full of uh, great anecdotes. Um, and as a filmmaker, my passion is music, is military, and is history. And with the, you know, though, this lot give me all three together. Um, We're seeing a, a, a few shots of your film now, back uh, in, on the screen. You followed them for about six weeks, didn't you? No, no, I followed them for six days, but it took six months to, <laughs> to, to put everything together, all the ideas, and to book all the slots that we were going to film, and then following them for six days, and that's one huge pub crawl. Um, <laughs> they, they do it for 24 days every Christmas. I've but, heard about the hip flasks on the coach, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was exhausted after the six days, and I'd take my hat off if I had one to them for it. But uh, it all culminates right on Christmas Eve under the arches uh, with the great acoustic effect and uh, this is all told in the film. That's one not to miss certainly. Well we'll hear from you shortly um, just to say they do about 80 to 90 of these gigs during December singing about 12 carols a time so that's a thousand carols in December not bad so let's hear one now take it away. Oh, Christmassy and toasty. Absolutely, it's amazing. <laughs> and it's not just carols getting us into the Christmas spirit tonight. In Wales, church pews have been covered up and until Sunday, more than 200 nativity scenes are on display.